just trying to do my hypnobirthing and uh, yeah. <laughs> it was banging and I was like, it sounds like our driveway, but it should be fine. Luca was having a little like, little growls. And then all of a sudden someone knocked on the door and all hell broke loose. I was like zoned out, hypno no. zone. Ah, ah. He was watching TV. <laughs> Luca went off. But we got a parcel. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. And it is what it is. What is that? This is a $10 nappy bag. Do you want to keep the box? Yeah. Yeah? You can have the box if you want. Yeah, someone recommended this on one of the pages. It's off Amazon Australia. It's $10 or $9.99 or something like that. Yeah, we've all bought them now, and now they've sold out. <laughs> yeah, it's all here. Oh, did you do it? Oh, you did do it. Good work. Good job. Already, just like $10 is a lot for this type of fabric. It like feels sturdy, if that makes sense. Um, okay, I like the base. The base is wide, which is good for a nappy bag. You need extra room. I don't know if this is real leather or fake leather. Feels solid. The straps are really padded, which is always good because these things can get heavy. And it looks like you can also take the straps off easily. Yeah, you can. Which is great because you could like hook them, take it off and not have the straps at all. Or you could hook them over like trolley or pram or something like that. So it's a bit more on there. There's a pocket at the back. It's pretty good. Maybe I'll use this for uni. Stuff nappy bags. And it can be like handbag, sling, shoulder, duffel, whatever you call it, style, or backpack no. style. Um, okay, so these are magnetic clips. <laughs> that you can't really see because the pattern's bad. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about the hiccups. Magnetic clips, and what's in this bit? Hey, A change mat, how big is it? Pretty decent size, actually. This is a waterproof change mat. I honestly just wanted, like, I was ready to spend $10 on this. Not even joking. So that goes in that bit. Hayden's sitting in the cardboard box now. <laughs> um, inside this front pocket, we've got a plastic pocket. We've got a little springy bit on a piece of like spring with a clip on the end. I'm not really sure what that's for, but yeah. And then we've got another little mesh pocket. I'm really happy. Oh! Okay, and then here we've got another little pocket. This one's kind of not super padded, but it's like a felty feel. So I feel like that's where you put your phone and your keys. And then we've got, oh, there's side pockets as well that I didn't see. They're big enough to fit a nice, decent sized bottle. Oh, there is. Okay, so this side pocket will have this and that's for nappy like you slide the packet of nappies in there and then you can open this bit to pull the nappies out. Um, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what they're for. I've never had one like that before, but yeah. It's also feet on the bottom, so the bottom doesn't wear out super crazily. So everywhere has a double zipper, which is always nice, except this little pocket. Big compartment. Here we go. Whoa. That was unexpected. Um, are you sawing the box? How do I even? Okay, come here guys. Okay, well, we've got little pockets in here. Mom. Slightly bigger pockets in here. But we've got a little insulated bottle pocket here. More pockets there and like a little pen kind of pocket there. Yeah. I'll probably put the thermometer in there. We've got a mesh pocket with Velcro. We've got a nice square base, which is amazing. You can like fit wipes and lunch boxes and nappies well in that sort of shape. And we've got another hidden pocket at the back. And this top bit is like really padded. Actually, the whole thing's quite padded. But yeah, anyway. So this is the bag for 10 bucks. This is bloody amazing. It feels so, okay, it's really hard to do one-handed, which is a negative, but. Help me. You wanna see yourself? Yeah. The bag, you wanna record? Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going to zip the bag up. Yeah. Yeah? And you're going to clip that back there. Clip that back there. There's a baby in the belly. Do you like Mum's new bag? No. I don't like my new bag. Oh. But you like the box. Hello peoples, this is my new bag. And that is Hayden's leg. But anyway, um, so that is it. I just, very quick little review. I, if you want to see a video of like how I would pack this, let me know because I'll probably be packing it and using it once I actually, you know, have newborn nappies and stuff to put in it. But yeah, that's it for the video for the moment. And I will link it down below, but last I checked it was out of stock. So whoever posted on the um, Perth, I think it was the Perth or like Australia mum's pregnancy group or whatever it was. Good job. You did, did well for the business because we've bought them out of stock. But yeah, definitely worth the $10. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with it. It seems really durable. Like I can't fault it. Um, it is, oh, I can a bit. It's a little on the heavy side, which when there's nothing in it is a bit concerning. But all the materials seem really quite solid. That's why it's heavy. It seems well made, like I can't see any fraying, any bad stitching, any faults at all. It's all like thicker, properly padded. Like I, I can not really fault it for $10 amazing so there it is that is uh oh i've got to skip the youtube ad before the kid has a tantrum skipped happy it's all good it's back that's it hope you guys enjoyed the little review and i'll see you guys in the next video so i think that's going to be my 35 week update I'm not entirely sure but bye peoples